Let's uh, cut across to our guests as well who are joining us on the broadcast. Harish Ayer, he's an equal right activist. He's with us on the show. Uh, Ashok Rog, uh, Kavi, he's an equal right activist. Rahul Ishwar, who's an activist. Pratik Som, who's an advocate, joining us on the broadcast. Rahul, first your thoughts on the judgment today. We heard Mr. Anand Grover, who was leading the arguments for the petitioner, say that it is indeed a disappointing day, but he's not disheartened. I'm a right conservative person, but everyone in the spectrum and everyone across the spectrum agrees that there should not be any homophobia, there should not be any attitude of discrimination. But the complex question, the multi-layered question is, can the status of marriage be accorded to homosexual relations? Mm -hmm. There are religious, spiritual, cultural, family, many arguments that are forwarded on many spaces. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we have to take it slow. Of course, more education, more sensitization needed. We have one of the finest liberal progressive judges of our nation, Sri Chandra Jude, you know, at the helm, uh, controlling uh, the entire narrative and he is the master of the rooster. At the same point of time, a huge majority of our society, many institutions, political parties have their own inhibitions regarding this. That's the reason I keep on requesting my good friend Mr. Harish Ayer and Sri Ashok Rav Kaviji like persons, educators more let us engage more as the, there are many people who are having many inhibitions regarding these things can the status of marriage which is sacrosanct in hindu muslim christian jew jain buddhist every religion can that particular heterosexual marriage which is thousands of years old can the particular status be accorded at the right point of time i believe everyone agrees that what justice chandrachu rightly said there are issues of extortion by corrupt cops there are harassment issues which everyone agrees and on a humanistic principle we should definitely be against all these things but on a principle there are debates and there are respectful disagreements that need to uh, be that that is already there i think more and more engagement uh, you know with this uh, with the civil society with the people who oppose them are the way ahead and more sensitization is the way ahead and there are people with very respectful disagreements to the entire homosexual community's premise all right harish uh, what is your view on what has been said i mean uh, it is not the first time that we are hearing these arguments that, okay, you have a right to be your natural self, to own your sexuality, to be expressive of your sexual orientation, but look, you can't marry. marry is about, uh, marriage is about heterosexual couples and it should be left there. No religion recognizes homosexual partnership as marriage in a country like India where personal laws largely govern the marriage sphere. Harish, am I audible to you? Can you hear me? Okay, you... Harish, am I audible to you? Can you hear me? I can't hear. You can't. I'll, I'll, I'll just try and fix that audio. I, my team will get in touch with you. Pratik Som is also with us on the broadcast. Uh, we also have Ashok uh, Kavi who is with us on the show. Ashok ji, first to you. The fact that marriage has always had a heteronormative definition and religions uh, you know, across the spectrum recognize marriage as a companionship or a partnership of heterosexual couples. The homosexual definition does not exist and that becomes important in a country like India because there is a whole regime of personal laws that govern the sphere of family law. Ashok ji. Uh, you see, uh, I wanted to start right from 2018 when the uh, section 377 was read down. Where we then became citizens of this country and not felons anymore. Yes. So one would have thought that uh, the citizenship entitlements come automatically to us under the, the judgment, you know, the, of 2018. But instead of that, they, the, the Supreme Court has kicked up the uh, whole issue in, uh, to the executive. Uh, uh, Doctor, uh, Mr. Anand Grover says that there was a pushback from the government. We could see that during uh, the arguments that were going on in the Supreme Court, especially Tushar Mehta making extraordinary statements. And you could see that there was a push a pushback. Yeah. But the bench should have understood that this was what the government was doing and should have immediately come in to remove the discrimination and go ahead with just basic civil laws yeah. as far as we are concerned yeah. the civil citizenship entitlements given by the government are important you know to for the very existence and the health and mental health of the communities so yeah. i don't understand why the uh, there's so much argument going on mm. uh, uh, you know france legalized uh, 
the issues, you know, especially among things like couples. Ashok ji, can I, can, I, can, I make an, can I make an argument with you? Yes. And also because somebody, you're somebody who understands, you know, how important this is for the community. I'm all for marriage equality. If you were to ask my ideological position, I believe any, any two individuals who want to enter into an institution of marriage irrespective of their sexual orientation should be legally allowed to do so. But I'm also very well aware of the legal scape that exists in this country. No other democratic country across the world has a parallel verse of personal laws governing the space of family law sphere. Family law in India is one of the most complicated spheres. We do not have a common civil code. Had we had a common civil code in this country, the reform of those laws would have been far more easier for the courts to do. Right now, more than 100 laws need to be changed and these are just statutory provisions. We are not even talking about the sphere of the personal laws which makes the matter all the more complicated. The argument I am coming to, Ashokji, is that should the movement realign itself and talk about the idea of a UCC? Have you ever thought about that? Uh, no, uh, in fact, the UCC would have been one method by which, you know, we could have taken the say, uh, this Special Marriages Act and then uh, would not, we would not have run into any problems if there was a UCC. But because of the personal laws, they, you know, the, the, any, any effort to reform and reformulate hmm. the Special Marriages Act will come to naught. You hmm. know, that, there's just no doubt that uh, the UCC would have helped a lot. UCC would have helped a lot.